Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here with a little book, The St. Joseph's Daily Missal. M-I-S-S-A-L, not M-I-S-S-L-E, Daily Missile. Now, some of you might be saying, what in the world is a missile? This is, um, a missile is just readings for the Mass. So this belongs specifically to the Catholic Church. And so it's fascinating. I enjoy learning about other religions, other denominations, just seeing what people believe in that type thing. And so one thing I want to say is reading through this missile, I'm a Pentecostal, is you realize that people have very strong devotions to what they believe in and not everybody that's going to read through a missile doesn't mean that they're mean and evil people. They're very sincere people. People can be sincerely wrong. And so, you know, while we may disagree with the Catholic system and this type of thing and what they're teaching, individual Catholics, many of them very much love the Lord and they might just be more dedicated to what they believe than many Pentecostals are. So let's take a look on the inside of this. Again, for many of our Protestant or Evangelical, Fundamentalist, Apostolic, uh, Oneness, Pentecostal, Charismatic folks, you may never have looked on the inside. Some of you may have come out of Catholicism and are in these other things. And again, I am not saying to stay in Catholicism. I would say the belief system is incompatible with Scripture. But what I am saying, the individuals in that, you know, they're just honest hearted, so many of them, and love God, love the Lord Jesus Christ. And this is just all they've ever known, or maybe they were converted to this. So this has the imprimatur by uh, Francis Cardinal Spellman of Archbishop of New York, how, 1959, Catholic Book Publishing. I'm looking for the Nahil Obstat. I don't see that. So it talks about something Pope Pius XII did in 1947. It tells the principal parts of the Mass. Now, I do want to say that the Mass is not the same thing as communion. They would say that what is actually partaken of is the actual body and blood of Jesus Christ. We would say it is representations of the body and blood. And so as such, they would say there is a salvic institute of the Mass. And so this is neat. The Mass vestments, the cincture, the alb, the amis tells what it is. The maniple, the stole, the, chanu the chasuble, excuse me, the dalmatic, the sacred vessels needed for the mass, the chalice, the paten, the ciborium, the uh, purificator, the pall, the chalice veil, the liturgical colors, white, red, green, old rose, gold, black, high mass, low mass, classifications of feast has a little thing in here tells you how to figure out when particular feasts are because you have you know all saints day you know saint valentine's day uh, christ mass these are all you know basically in a certain sense catholic holidays even though some Good old evangelicals have taken them over. What to say on Christmas Eve? And so, like, this is the 21st Sunday after Pentecost, the Feast of Pentecost. There are some people that take Mass twice a day. They'll go in the morning, go in the evening. Hail Mary, Mother of Grace. Our fathers, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And so again, for those of us that are not Catholic, I thought it may just be kind of neat to look at a daily missal. I remember in Christian book selling, the first time somebody ever asked me for a missal, I had heard of it, had no idea what it was. The Catholic Church has somewhere around a billion adherents around the world. Of course, you have the Pope, you have the first Jesuit Pope now. This is May 11th, 2017. But uh, just thought it would be neat to take a look at this. And again, 
pray for Catholics around the world, the love of God, that He would open their hearts to a greater love for Jesus Christ and a walk in truth and further truth with the Word of God. Be a great thing. God bless you in Jesus' name.